Uh, morning, guys. Welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe, and spreading the love. Doing what is a very tough, very tough uh, pandemic for us all. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning I'm joined by Football and Royalty. Who recently, <laughs> became, who recently became the social media James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had, I tell you what, Adam, as well, I had it, you know, I couldn't believe it. I was sceptical. I was I one of these sceptics. I was one of these sceptics. Ah, it's China and America fighting. Oh, it's, it's bullshit. It's, no, we don't want this. You know, it's only money making. Oh, when you get it, believe me, I can tell you now, for five, six days, I was terrible. It, I can well, see if you weren't as strong as a bull like me, yeah. you know, you, you die. Oh, you I, die. I tell you, John, well, John, John Budgie Berings is uh, who I'm talking to today. And John, honestly, <laughs> I, I, um, I was watching you because I am an avid watcher of your social media. I, it, you really put a smile on my face, I'd be honest with you. I'm I tell the truth, people. Adam. I tell, yeah. No, I tell the truth. I'm yeah. not one of these snowflakes that, you know, just uh, uh, looks after his job. Uh, you yeah. know, I tell, I tell the truth. You and, know, and, and, about... John, you, you, you could see just how, how much you were struggling on some of those days in, uh, when you had COVID. Oh, yeah. I had to. Do, I, I promised to do it, but it takes. Hey, it takes more than a COVID virus to sort this lad out. Yeah, I you know, know. I know. And knock it out. <laughs> <laughs> it so, got in and, and died. So, wh where are you, uh, John? Because uh, I, I live in. Go on, sorry. I live in Muscat in Oman. Oh, lovely! I'm in Marbella, uh, but it doesn't. It's not oh. a touch on Oman. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I, I used to go when I was, before this pandemic, before all this travelling restrictions was on, I used to travel to Barcelona every okay. week, you know, to do uh, Facebook. We did Real Madrid on Saturday yeah. and Barcelona on Sunday. I was with Kevin Campbell. Me oh, and Kevin okay. used to, we used to, we used to fly across there. It was a nine-hour flight, but it didn't matter. Right? I went on Friday and came back Monday. That was my work. You know, so, you know, I used to enjoy doing it. But now, with the pandemic, you know, with the, the, I, I, I had to stop because I came back into Muscat. I, yeah. had, to, I had to pay 60, 70 euro, you know, for a, a test. Ah, right, okay, uh, yeah. And then they put a bangle on me, on my wrist. And, well, the, um, down, the downside to that then, John, is that you ended up talking to me on YouTube now. <laughs> correct. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, it, it's this is the way this is the, the way forward. This is what they're doing, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we can't. I can't do it. You know, I can't do it on YouTube. You well, know, to be honest, uh, John, you are, you're the first professional footballer I've had on my little channel, and I'm very, very honoured. Thank you ever so much for any time, for Adam. Agreeing any, to do this. any time, any time, John, you want. Your, your career lasted 30 years. You played for 29 clubs, 18 of them in a the league. Uh, yeah. And, um, I mean, I'm 42, John, right? Yes. Uh, and I, I, was, remember, I, I was remember... I was still playing. I was still playing. Yeah, I remember um, the good old days of football. I would always say that, John. And uh, during my time, uh, I, the earliest I can remember is uh, when you played for Newcastle and Hibs. But, yes. Um, but you, you started a Blackpool, and you're actually in the Blackpool Hall of Fame as well, John, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because I, go I, I, sa I saved the madam. You know, I, I was 18 years old. I, I'd only played 34. I was brought up very poor, Adam. I yeah. start from the start. I, you know, I was brought up extremely poor. I was a miner's lad. You know, that, that was put. You know, my dad would make me take me school holidays. I, I yeah. would go down the pub pit, help him shovel coal, push the, the, the trolleys. You know, the more coal you got out, the more salary that you got. Well, to be honest, you know, John, you're talking to someone who grew up in, in Merthyr Tidville. Uh, oh, you bloody know, hell. You, you know it. Valleys, you, know? you know about it. You know, yeah. you know what it's... Uh, and, and uh, you know, when we got up, we cross-cut sword wood. You know, so when I was, 15, when I was 14, I was big. I was yeah. like a man. I was like a, I was like a, a big fella. You yeah, know, I, you. I, I, I was playing. You know, I was playing for the you know the under the Cumberland side, the 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 county side, 
you know, under 15 when I was 13, you know. So, yeah, uh, you, you could handle yourself, John, let's just say. I, 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 I could handle myself. And, you know, I was playing for the, the county side against Lancashire at yeah. Carlisle United ground. Okay, yeah. And, you. and uh, we beat them 1-0 and I, I had a really good game. You know, and um, after the, there was a lot of scouts there. And uh, the, the, um, the, a scout from Stoke City came up. He says, uh, John, um, you know, uh, can we have your telephone number, please? Because there was no mobile phones, there was no emails. No, you know, I know. I uh, know. There was nothing like that. You know, I said, I live at 38, uh, 38 Concrete Terrace, Clifton, near Workington, a mining village. Yeah. You yeah. know? I know. So he, he, he wrote it all down. And he, he said, telephone number. says, the only telephone number that we have is in the village, is in the, the pub, the Queen's Head. All right, okay, okay. So I give him the Queen's Head in Clifton. You know, I give him, I, I didn't know the number, but I just told him the pub and he, he would get it from, you know, uh, the source he has to get it from. And, um, it, you know, they got me, my mum got a phone call to go up to the pub and she said, uh, Stoke City are, uh, are coming down to see you on Sunday. I'll see your dad on Sunday. And uh, I was 14 years old then, I was still at school. Yeah. And uh, the guy came up and come down our back alley, you know, in his big Zephyr Ford. He hardly ever got down there, you know. It was an inch on each side. And uh, he come into the house. And my dad had, you know, typical miner, yeah. Sunday. <laughs> you know, <laughs> put, 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 you know and he, he was half cut. And uh, he said, uh, the, lad said the, the person said, he said, we're very interested in signing John for Stoke. Right. And he says, uh, how much for my boy? How much are you going to give me for my boy? And he said, uh, we, we have to give him five pound a week as an apprentice professional. Now, now you talk, you know, you're talking a lot of money there. Yeah, 70, yeah, yeah, yeah. 71, 70, you're talking a lot of money there. And, you know, he, he said, no, he can go down the pit and he can earn ten pounds a week, and he can play rugby for working a team, which was a good rugby player as well. He said, and he will get another ten pound a week. He's going to earn twenty pound a week. So if you don't give him twenty pound a week, piss off. <laughs> you know, and the yeah. lads, no, we cannot. You know, the, the players in them days were on fifty quid a week. You know, yeah, and. Um, I, uh, really? the, it's, it's, and it's put, I, I went to my mum when the guy from Stoke had gone. You know, uh, I went to my mum and said, I don't want to play rugby, mum. I don't want to go down the pit for the rest of my life. Uh, I said, I want, I want to be a football player, mum. Yeah. So, them are the days, Adam, right. when, when a lady, when a lady, you know, went to a man, in a, in a, a man's wife. Went yeah. to her husband and said, "John wants to play football." Now it's oh, the, they're, yeah. all, they're all trappy now. They're all. Yeah. Trappy. <laughs> well, to be, honest, honest, to be honest, John, I know that I, I, I mean, I was born in the seventies, but very, very similar to that kind of mindset in the eighties, uh, early eighties, especially doing the minor strikes in the eighty-four and so on. Oh, I remember thing. those days vividly. Same thing. And even it, now, it, e even now, John, even now, um. You know, it all, it, those kind of memories always keep your, fo your feet on the ground. Oh, for no sure. That's why that's I tell them. Yeah, that's what, that's what. Well, my me, me, me mum, yeah. God bless her, she went up to him and she says, Jim. And now she's, 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 uh, she's risking a slap backhander. She's risking the airy side. And then there's a no terrible thing to say. Yeah, but yeah. it's true, you know it. Yeah, I know. No, no, Especially you, the yeah, other few. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, he, he went and says, Jim. I, 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 go on. Yeah, he says, please give him a chance. He don't want to play rugby. He doesn't want to go down pit. I mean, my dad must have been in a good, good mood because he said, uh, he's got one year. One year. <laughs> That's it. And then he'll be okay. He'll be 17 and he'll be, he'll be ready to go down the pit and he can play rugby. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So at 15, at 15 years old, I was, you know, I was playing 
for you know, the school team at school on Saturday morning and running down to the fourth division reserve team and playing for the reserves against Sunderland and Middlesbrough. I got you. you. Know, I got you, yeah. You, you know, uh, playing against men. And yeah. I was 15 and I just played for the school in the morning. You know, yeah. now, uh, at 15, as soon as I left school, I ran from the school my first day and I went down to Buddha Park Workington, 12th Division, and I signed my apprentice professional form. One year. Right? I got you. I got One you. year. So, so, so how, did, how, did come, John, how did it come from Stoke to Blackpool then? Well, I'm going to tell you. Oh, you know, okay, I, I'll, I'll just, keep my mouth shut. I'll keep yeah, my mouth shut. Sorry, uh, mate. Uh, yeah, what, what happened was... I was waiting for the reserve team bus to come. You know, I had to run a mile, you know, from yeah. my village up to the main road. And it was, I was waiting for the reserve team bus to come to take me to Sunderland on one Saturday morning. I was, I was 16 years old. I was a six month in my contract. And, and uh, they, the, the, the manager's car pulled up, Brian Doyle's car pulled up. And he says, get in, you know, and I said, uh, I've got to, I've got to get on a bus, boss. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to Sunderland. He says, "Get in, you're playing in the first team." Mike, Mike Rogan's uh, hurt his ankle, so I, I, I got in the car. You know, I got to the ground at ten o'clock in the morning. Three, three o'clock kickoff Saturday morning. I marked the pitch. I done the nets. I put the, I put the strips out. I put the boots out. I made everything right. And I had a pasty for me pretty much meal. We play Newport County. You'll know that. that oh, club. I know that club very yeah, well, we John. Play, very play well. Not, we play Newport County. And I ran out. It was 11,000 people in there at Borough Park. Jeez. You know, working at fourth division. And I ran out, 16 years old. My first touch of the ball in, in fourth division football. A cross came, corner kick, came round. Big lad called Darcy got in front of me. And it, it popped it in the net. You know, you. well, you know, I should have got it. I should yeah. have batted him. And there's Bobby Brown, the captain, John Ogilvy, the right back. They're on, they're, they're on at me. And they, it's not like nowadays, you know, bad luck, son, bad luck, bad luck. Yeah. You know what they're yeah. at? You bastard! You know, you yeah. punch yeah. him, knock him out, punch him in the face! Well, to be you honest, know, John, to be honest, going on that, um, even nowadays, people... People slate Peter Shilton for not knocking Maradona. Out Maradona he should have done. I'd have yeah. need him in the back. I'd have yeah. need him. I'd have broke his back. You know, <laughs> I'd have broke his back. You know, yeah, and, but, but, but those were the days then. The, the, but I, I, we, we, we got the equaliser. We went out. We scored the second goal in the second. We won it three one. And I got slated. You know, the evening paper, the pink. You know, oh, the, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Echo, I we got, used to call uh, it. yeah. Well, it was, it was a green, it was a, it was green in in Workington. Burridge, you know, Burridge a failure. That's that's what I got. You know, <laughs> oh, you, 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 you know, but you, Brian Doyle cannot, he cannot, he must loan a, a goalkeeper. You cannot play this sixteen-year-old at Oldham on Tuesday night. You know, and then the same thing in the Sunday papers. In you know, what a confidence builder. Yeah, but I yeah, had to, yeah. I had to play. He couldn't get into the goalkeeper so uh, so you. quick. Mike hadn't fit. I had to play. I'm on the bus going down, you know, to but uh, to uh, to uh, Oldham Athletic, you know, on Tuesday after on Tuesday afternoon. And I thought to myself, they had a guy called Jim Fryer, yeah. bull dead, five foot ten. He battered everything. He banged everything. I said, I'm going to dive into him. Every chance I get, I'm going to knock his bloody teeth out. If he kills me, he kills me. You know? <laughs> I yeah, went out. Yeah. I, I went out. You know, I went out. A boundary park, Oldham, and I had a stormer. I smashed him. Yeah. You know, my face was... Oh, good man. One nil. Got it budgie, fantastic. I had to play at Southport oh, I, I, on Saturday. Again, one nil. I had another great game. 34 games I played consecutive. Oh, right? okay. 
consecutive. I'm on five pound a week, right? Remember, five pound yeah, a week. Yeah. I was getting my bonus now. I was getting another five pound a week appearance, and I was getting twenty pound uh, um, uh, uh, appearance money, bonuses, yeah, bonuses. Yeah. And so every time we won. So uh, and on after thirty four games, I got a call from the trainer. He says, "Boss wants to see you." Uh, after you know, now I'm 17. You know, I said, Boss wants to see you. So I've gone up the office and he said, uh, My dad had died now. My dad oh, had died. Okay. Yeah. You know, and I, my money was, he was keeping me mum. Yeah. And my two sisters. Right now, right. right that's right. That brings back memories as well because, um, uh, you know, that was, that was a thing in, in those days, you know. Um, uh, when the son gets older, the son would look after the parents Correct. financially. Correct. Yeah. Now, now the snowflakes, they're, 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 they're looked after. They're, they're looked yeah. after all their lives. They don't yeah. know how to fight. No. This is yeah, right. So, I, 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 he, he, I, he says, the boss wants to see you. So, I, I went to his office. I was doing my jobs. I said, boss, I was cleaning the baths and I was <laughs> cleaning the kit up after training. And he said, uh, I've sold it to Blackpool. £25,000, which was a fortune. Jeez. I says, I can't go, boss. You know, he says, why? He says, my mum uses my money. I says, you know, she, she, she relies on my money. He says, don't worry. Don't worry about that. I'm picking you up tomorrow at, at nine o'clock. I am taking it to Blackpool. So he's picked, turned up at my house. And, you know, my mum came out. She says, you can't go, Brian. I'm sorry. And, and he says, don't worry, Greta, I'll sort you out. Don't you yeah. worry about anything. You know, he's going to the yeah. first division. He's going to the first division. There's no, no, no agents, no big contracts. No. No, I'm going with the manager. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the car. I'm, it seems such a long way. It's not a long way to Blackpool from work. No, but it was in those days. Yeah, it was through the lakes, yeah. Yeah. But, but... I got into Blackpool, I sat on the outside in Bloomfield Road, Bob Stoker, oh God bless him. You know, he, uh, he, he was in with the office with the manager and I was sat outside and um, he said, uh, I was called into the office. He said, John, we want to sign you on a three year contract. We think you're a very good prospect and one for the future. Um, you, you know, remember I'm on five pound a week apprentice? Yes, yeah. Right? It says, uh, your salary will be 100 pounds per week. I'm 17. Jeez, jeez. It's like, it's like I'm in 25,000, 30,000 yeah. pound now. Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, if you play in the first team against Everton on Saturday, you'll receive another 50 pounds appearance money. If we win, it's £25 a point. So if we win at Everton on Saturday where you will be playing, you'll have £200 a week. Yeah. And, and we play Crystal Palace on Tuesday night. So if we win that, it'll be £450 a week for that week. <laughs> and, he's, <laughs> and he's talking, he's talking ridiculous. He's talking like hundreds of, hundreds of thousand pounds, you know, yeah. and I'm 17. Yeah. And he says, on top of that, we'll give you £10,000 in cash signing on fee. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. And, and you, uh, yeah, yeah, but I said, I can't. But I can't. He says, it's, what? it's a good contract, John, for, you, for a 17 year old. I said, no, it's not that, boss. It's not that, Mr. Stoker. I said, my mum needs money. <laughs> You know, to keep, to nah. keep it. <laughs> I, I knew that was coming. Uh, yeah. John, I knew uh, that was coming. He said, uh, give us his telephone number. I said, I haven't got a telephone number. If you, if you phone the Queen's Head, mum will come up. It was only two minutes away. So they rang the Queen's Head. The Queen's Head went and got my mum. She said, uh, um, is that great? I said, yeah. I said, I've got John in here. I've signed him on a three-year contract. You know, you'll be receiving £200 a month, £50 a week. You know, uh, from me personally, you know, for the, you know, for the rest of John's contract, and I will put it in writing. Well, the phone went dead. I thought my mum would flipping collapse. You know, 
15 nick of the week and I was given a five and she, she we, we had a decent life on that. And yeah. she was getting 50, she, she's a queen. She was, a, she was a queen. You know, so I signed on the contract and that's, I, I went to Everton on the Saturday. Yeah. You know, uh, and I didn't know any of the, you, you know, there was no television like the, there is now. We didn't have a television in our house. Yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know Tommy Hutchinson. I didn't know Tony Green. I didn't know Mickey Burns. I didn't know Jimmy Armfield. I didn't know the Blackpool were full of stars. Oh yeah, definitely, you know, definitely. They were full of stars, and and uh, I, I I arrived on Wednesday. I trained on Thursday with them, you know, and I was told on Friday to wear a shirt and tie, you know, to catch the bus. Yeah. At nine o'clock Saturday morning to go to Everton. Well, I didn't know where bloody Everton was. I didn't know it was in Liverpool, you know. So I, I, I was put in the with the with the my same age group were still apprentices, you yeah. know, in the in the digs, and you know, only the only suit I had was a, you know turquoise green skinhead suit. <laughs> I was a skinhead, you know, big big baggy pants, and, you know. Yeah. Stay, stay press, and, and I borrowed a tie. And I turned up, and Tommy Hutchison, I didn't know who they were, I got onto the bus, and I, 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 had, I borrowed a tie from one of the lads. I had a, a, a Levi stay press shirt, you know, and my big bags on, and, you know, my bother boots, and halfway up my legs, you know. <laughs> to, to, you know, you know what it, you know? <laughs> I, I got on the bus like that. You know, half we me. You know, it was a brilliant. You know, uh, in Workington, because the skinhead, if you were a skinhead, and you had a skinhead suit, you were top man. You know, <laughs> you know. So I, I got in the bus, and oh, you know, they were all the, he's skinhead, he's a bother boy. You know, <laughs> and I, I went and sat in the back, and I thought, after this game, I don't care what the score is, I'm going home. I don't care about the money. I'm going home, you know, uh, the, because it, would, it was like that all the way through bloody Liverpool. Yes. And only an hour, you yeah. know. And I jumped out of the bus. I ran into the I ran into the dressing room. I put, took my suit off, and I, I, I put the towel over the. Top. And then the build-up started. You know, uh, I was doing my warm-up in the dressing room. Didn't go out in them days, you know. I was doing my warm-up in the dressing room like we did at Workington. And it was, there were was 60,000 people in there. there was, you know, Alan Ball, Joe Royal, yeah, Howard Kendall, yeah. Brian well, Laborn. Everton were the money bags in those days. They had just won the league the, the year before. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I, I thought, I'm going to show them bastards here. You? <laughs> you know, how good I am, right? I went out 0-0, zero, zero, nil Jeez. nil draw. I stopped one off Alan Ball, you wouldn't believe, a volley from six yards. I just threw myself and it hit me right in the bollocks. You know, my body, <laughs> my body. And I got 10 out of 10 in the people next day. Oh, fair play. Fair play. Yeah. yeah. And uh, after the game, I had a quick shower, you know, and a bath in them days. Yeah. I put my skinhead suit on and I ran down the tunnel, out the bag, into the bus. And I, I was sat in the back seat and I put my head down. I was hiding. Right, I was yeah. adding it. I was adding in the in the back in the back seat, you know. So the lads had went and got a point. Good, good point, you know. They're all coming in, you know. And Bob Stoker, where's John? Anybody seen John Burridge? Anybody seen John? I says, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> you know, I'm. I am. He says, come here. You know, but well, my confidence was all right now. I had a in Stormer, you know. I had a Stormer, and I, and I sat down beside Bob Stoker. Yeah. And uh, he says, well played, son, fantastic today. I said, I'm going home, boss. Keep your money. You know, he said, what? He said, I said, I'm catching the flipping train home. You know, keep your money. I don't care. He says, why? I said, them bastards there, Tommy Hutchinson, Scottish, Tony Green, you know, he says, they're taking the piss out of me, you know, coming here. You know, and, and, and he's brought them up. He says, what, what? what? He says, they were taking the piss out of me, suit. He says, well, it is a bit gaudy, John. You know, the, the Bob <laughs> he says, but you can't go home. You know, we need you for the Manchester United on Tuesday night. And and uh, 
he wouldn't let me go back to the digs just in case I'd gone and got on a train. I got you, yeah. You know, so he, when we bus pulled outside Bloomfield Road, I got in his car and he took me home. And he kept me there. He, 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 I slept there Saturday, I slept there Sunday. And he, on Monday morning, you know, we, 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 were, we were off. He gave us Monday morning off. And, and he said, he said, What's what's that noise? Oh no no no! Sorry, it's just uh, the background. Sorry, background noise. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he uh, he he took me to his house on a Monday morning. He took me down to the tailors, right? right? And he bought me two blazers, you know, uh, and a suit. Yeah. You know, and four or five shirts, nice ties, you know. And he says, "There you are, son." Wear them for Tuesday night, you know, and same game, you know. And I thought, oh, great. So I've gone in on, I've gone in and I'm training, you know, on, on yeah. Monday. Hey, you know, I was, I, we had a 1 1 draw against George Best, and Bobby True. Charlton, yeah, and Bobby Charlton. Uh, yeah, on, yeah. So I finished the season off, and that season, we won, went and won the Anglo Italian Cup the first time. I was I'd just going to come on to that. I was just going to come on to that. Because yeah. in those days, John, uh, you know, the youngsters won't know about this because the Anglo Italian Cup to, come to an end in the late 80s, I think. I can't remember. It was something like that. Yeah. 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 And, um, and it was an interesting competition, John, wasn't it? You know, um, well, it was a sort of introduction to the Champions League. It was sort of an introduction to, you know, the UEFA Cup. It was, you know, and it, well, it, you didn't have to finish on the night place. You were invited, you know, right, uh, you. To, to play to play there. And uh, I, uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd never been abroad before in my life. Yeah. And uh, I never, you know, the, the first... We, the season finished, and I got on an aeroplane. An aeroplane to go and play Roma. Well, okay. I didn't know what Italian football was like. We played uh, uh, Roma, Sampdoria. We played Torino. You know, we, we and we won it. We yeah. went and won. We went and won the old, We beat Bologna in Bologna in the final. I said, right, you know? yeah. Uh, and that was, was my. Because yeah, I, I remember, sorry, John. I remember. I think it may have been towards the end of the um, uh, end of the, uh, like Anglo Italian. It used to be the like second tier clubs going over and yeah. the second tier. Yeah, yeah. Was it a home but, and away? Was it a home and away like yeah, I mean, kind of affair? Yeah, no. But you did it all in one go. You'd fly it across to to uh, to Italy, and you'd stay there three weeks, and you'd play Roma one week. Uh, Juventus the next week, and and you know, oh, um, okay, into into Milan the next. That was the first one, and they ah. would come to you the follow the following month and play you. You know, right, there's was, was, was a lot of money. There's a lot of interest in it. You yeah. know, um, and we got to the final. We we, we got to the final. We we, uh, we went and won it. We went the first one. We beat Bologna, and then we beat uh, we beat Roma in Roma the the second year. I got you. You I know, so you. you know, so I I enjoyed me, but I learned a lot, a, a, you know, my lesson. Because when when they give me my signing on fee, first thing I did, you know, uh, was boy, I bought myself a a, a a Lotus Europa. You know, I yeah. I, uh, <laughs> the, the, the worst thing, you know, I I started earning a lot of money. My mum was yeah. earning a lot of money. You know, I was I was. It's like equivalent. I I can see why lads go off the rails now. You know they say that. Yeah. The, yeah, I know what you're saying. When you know I I come my my night out on Saturday night when I was at Workington, if if it won, it was like sixpence into the rich to watch the film. You know there was one picture house. You know so yeah. I, that's where I'd go and I'd have a. I'd have a, 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 a an ice cream, you know, uh, in in the in the rich, and I'd be on the bus, ten o'clock bus home, yeah. you know. Yeah. That would be, and then Sundays I'd be out playing with my mates rugby, you know. Yeah, you know that's that's that was my life, and yeah. then I went to Blackpool, and I was playing 
first division football. I just won. I just won. Uh, I just had a ten thousand signing on fee. I just won eight thousand. You know, winning the Anglo Italian Cup. Not eighteen thousand, which was a fortune. It was like having yeah. a quid in your bank now. And, yeah. You know, I was going home from after last after the last game, after the last game, and. Uh, I, see, I was coming into Carlisle and I seen this car on top of a garage, you know, and I thought, ooh, that's nice, you know, <laughs> that's, that's nice. So I, I just, I said, I'll catch the, there's another train in an hour's time, so down to work it. So I says, I went down to this, I said, how much do you want for that car up there? I said, son, you cannot afford it. Uh, I said, I says, how much do you want for it? I'll pay you cash, you know, I said, he it says it's one thousand five hundred pounds, you know, which was a fortune. You could get a Capri for six hundred quid in them days. Yeah, you know, yeah, you could yeah, get. Yeah, it. yeah. And uh, I, I says, okay, get it down. I'm coming back tomorrow. You know, I'm coming back tomorrow to, to test drive it. And he and, uh, says, uh, what time? I said ten o'clock. So I ran back at ten o'clock the following day. Right. Yeah. And and. Uh, he says, sit down a minute, son, sit down a minute. He says, uh, I give him, you know, I, I, I just test drive it round, right? Yeah. I test drive it round, and I says, yeah, I love it. There's the money, 1,500 quid, right? Yeah. 1,500 quid. And, you know, I, he says, sit down, son. He left me in the office for about 10 minutes, and then two fellas walked in. CID, it reported me. <laughs> it reported, it report, it reported me to the to to the uh, to the police because I'd give him one thousand five hundred pounds. It's like giving him hundred thousand pound. Yeah, you know, yeah. cash. You know, and I, I says there, and one of the policemen uh, uh, recognised me. You know, he, uh, he says there, says there, where do you get this money? I says. I, I, he says, that's Burridge, isn't it? You know, it's from Car I'm in Carlisle now. It's 30 miles down. He says, that's Burridge. Press for Black Bull has just gone to the first division. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the garage owner, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know where this, you know. I says, I, I don't want it now. You know, I says, unless you put the tax and you insured it for me for a year. So he did. Oh, he did. Brilliant. Brilliant. He did. You know, but, but when Bob Stokoe, after five weeks, this is this was my trouble now. Yeah, I bought I bought a nice apartment, you know, in, right on the beach in in uh, Saint Anne's. That was eight thousand. I bought a new car, you know, a Lotus Europa. Now, here we go. But but it's all been about a high. Now, yeah. I, and then I found girls. Yeah. <laughs> I know I that, found, that's my problem is why I, I, I ended I'm, up over here I was uh, I, I found girls I found Blackpool nightclubs yeah I found it was very very easy to get a girl and have sex and it, 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 when you're going out with a girl and you're having sex it's it's a bit it's, a, it's, it's easy you know when you're playing for Blackpool my form went like that and that's why my phone went bam down. You. you know, the, and I was dropped. I couldn't play. I, I, I didn't really care. The only thing I could care about is going out that night. Yeah, wasn't yeah. a game on set. So I thought, sort your bloody self out, John. You know, I'm 19 now, and I sold my car. You know, I bought myself a little Volkswagen. You know, in orange. Yeah. And I thought, no drink. And I started being Mr. Dedication. You have to go through it, you know, to, un yeah. to understand yeah. this. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I started being Mr. Dedication. You know, I, I was... I, I was in, nowadays, you can, go and get, you can go and find a gym anywhere. In them yeah. days, in, Black, in Blackpool, you couldn't find a gym. You know, I, I, I went down to Blundell Street Gym, where man-made... You know the concrete weights and you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and my 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 gym instructors. You can go on on YouTube now and get gym instructors. You know to teach you how to lift weights and how to build strength. 
You know what my my gym instructors were? Nightclub bou- nightclub bouncers. Hmm. Yeah. I bet, there. I bet there was a lot, a lot of road running as well because you had no running machines or anything. It was no, just, no, no, no. You, you I, did me tra- I, I did my training in the morning and I yeah. went twice a week, Mondays and Wednesday afternoons to the gym. And I got the, you. The, and, uh, you know, there, there was boxing and there was, you know, wrestling and, you know, big heavy weights, you know, and I was pushing them bloody out. I was strong anyway. But bloody hell, I became a flipping monster <laughs> inside. And, and Mr. Dedication, you know. Yeah, oh, Mr. yeah, yeah. Well, the Mr. The, um, going from there, then you went to Villa, then. You were four, four years in Blackpool. What made, uh, how did Villa come into uh, uh, your career, then, John? I was, I, like I say, I've just told you, I was Mr. Dedication, you know, uh, and Ron Saunders had heard about this. And, uh, Ron Saunders had heard about this and, you know, he want, he, Jimmy Coombs was coming to the end of his career and he wasn't happy with him. So next thing I knew, I was sold to Aston Villa. Worst, worst. You see, I thought Ron Saunders was, a, you know, my yeah. type, my type of yeah. manager. But he, he, he was a striker and he, he, he's, he's, he's training, you know. I, I went to Villa. I went mm-hmm. to Villa. I... I, I I had a great move to Villa. You know, I, I won a League Cup there. I, I had maybe 100 games for them. Yeah. You know, but I wasn't happy at Villa. Right, I wasn't okay. a, Because I, did, I wasn't happy with the manager. The, God bless him. He's just, he's just died two or three months ago. You know, and, uh, but he, he, was, he, was, he stopped me going to the gym. He thought... Uh, he, 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 stopped, he, he wouldn't let me train myself. I was yeah. Mr. Dedication. It was working for me in Blackpool. Why did you have to try to change it in in uh, in Aston Villa? Well, yeah. you know, I, I I spent two or three years at Villa, you know, and I didn't really enjoy it. You know, I, uh, I enjoyed I the you. club. It was a super club, but me and the manager just didn't see it eye to eye, you know. So next next one was, you know, uh, Crystal Palace, where yeah, I, Palace, I, played, yeah. I played for the best manager I ever. I played for because um, Venables, Terry, Terry, Venables. Terry Venables. Yeah. He, he, he was like more, more like me. He was a, a bit of an entertainer. He, he used to ent- play entertaining football, you know. Yeah. And uh, he used to let me do what, you know. He used to actually say, everybody, I want everybody to be like Budgie. You know, he's the first one in, last one away. He's always in the gym and he's building his own gym in the training ground. You know, I was, yeah. I was, you know, I was buying my own weights and putting them, leaving them in the training ground. And it, Terry Venables always put me on a pedestal, you know, uh, yeah. above everybody else to, to show the young lads because I was in a very young team. Yeah. You know, yeah. Young Kenny, Kenny Sanson, Vince Hilaire, Jay Murphy, Peter Nicholas. You know, I, I was in a very, very young team. Well, with regard to that, John, uh, you say Mr. Dedication. I Looking back on your career and uh, looking at um, uh, the big match, you, you watched uh, the big match uh, yourself when uh, yeah, Crystal yeah. Palace played Man City yeah. um, just a few weeks ago. And yeah. I, I would put it, I would honestly put it, you're on a, on a pedestal as you were one of the pioneers of uh, personal fitness. You know, um, I'm, I'm pioneers of just about everything that happened. You know, yeah. I I was the first one to wear goalkeepers gloves. Yeah, because I I seen them in Bill Bow. I seen I seen them in Bill Bow when I was playing in, okay. in uh, and I seen this, you know a a, a, Rus- a a German goalkeeper wearing them. You know, he spoke good English, and he gave me yes. them. I thought I've got to get some of these. It was the Royce factory. I found out it was the rice factory ah, that made yeah. okay, that was yeah. made gloves. Yeah, it, uh, they, they put an Adidas badge on them and, or an old sport badge on them. But they were the first one, Royce. They made ski gloves. And, and, yeah, yeah, and, no, I remember them. Yeah, I remember. It, that so, I remember. That it was, yeah, so I Royce. You know, so what happened? What happened? I bought five hundred pounds worth. You know, of, uh, of of a box, a big box of gloves. You know, we, I had Pete, uh, uh, Peter Shilton ringing up for gloves. I had Pod, uh, Pad Jennings coming down from Tottenham for gloves. 
you know, I was the first one to ever, where do you get these, where do you get these? You know, I, I, give, Mervyn I give Mervyn Day a pair at West Ham, he wanted more. Yeah, and it was, I should I should have started a business then. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, you'd be a million. <laughs> uh, but, but I didn't I didn't think about that. I didn't want any sidelines. I only wanted football. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you even start, you even, I, I read that you even started doing like smoothies and so on. I mean, we are talking, we are talking early 80s, you know, with oh, oh, no diet. diet and everything. Yeah, but there was no YouTube to say that you, you have to eat that, you have to eat that, you have to eat that in them days, you know. Yeah. What you did, you had to experiment. And I, right, I, 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 used to ex I, I experimented. I, I, I wasn't very good with steak, you know. I, I, it slowed me down. But if I had a lot of vegetables and chicken, you know, I would speed. I would speed, you know. Yeah. And I, I, I listened to my body all the time. And my biggest one, my biggest one was... We played, I think we we played uh, we played a Spanish team, and a, and the goalkeeper, uh, Seville, I think it was, yes, Seville, okay, at Crystal, Crystal Palace, and the goalkeeper, you know, I seen him. This is when he used we used to warm up in the. They used to have a special room, you know, for warm a warm up room before the game. Nobody like went, it, yeah. nobody went out, Adam. Nobody, right. you know, no it until uh, 1978. Nobody went out on the field. You used to warm up in the dressing room or or or, uh, or in the in the warm up room because the pitches weren't very good them days, and yeah. you know the the goal mouse would. Go. So what what happened? I you know I seen this goalkeeper in Seville. He came out, you know, and I watched him. He came out about half an hour before kickoff. He had his goalkeeper. He, had, he was all kitted up. He just had a tracksuit on, and he had his coach banging shots at him. You know, for 20 minutes, and then the team came out, and you know, it was the only the goalkeeper, and then the team came out, and I thought, I'm gonna do that when I go back to England. You know, I'm gonna yeah. do that. So our first game for Palace that year was Manchester United away at Old Trafford. You know, and I, I want you to imagine what nowadays, what would happen nowadays, even though if De Gea or or, uh, or you know, not pet, you know. Uh, let's have another one. Mendy or, yeah, or, yeah. or Edison, you know, was going out to warm up at quarter past two, kick off three o'clock, and the groundsman said, "Where the hell are you going? I'm coming out with, <laughs> I'm, I'm coming out with the kit man to bang a few shots at me, you know, at quarter past two. You know, our lads hadn't started getting dressed." You know, yeah. I was going out and I was I had two balls and the kit man said, Where the hell are you going? I says, I'm gonna go warm up on the pitch. He says, You're not taking the balls on them pitch. <laughs> not till five to three. <laughs> Gee. And, I, and, I, and I said I, I said uh, piss off. I says, I'm going on, you can't stop me. He says, You took the balls off me. I was saying they took the balls off Edison, you know, and saying you can't go on my pitch. You know, yeah. or, or, or or Mendy, you know, at uh, at uh, at Chelsea, you know, or De Gea at Old Trafford, you can't go out, you know, and warm up. And so he took the balls off me. Says, I'm still going on the pitch. You can't stop me going. So my first, I was a good gymnast. Yeah, I was a, yeah. I was a very uh, my yeah. First, I seen I seen the handstands and everything, John. So my first, my first. Uh, 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 Act because I couldn't shoot any. What I did, I I, uh, I I walked across the box on my hands, yeah. you know, and uh, at Old Trafford end, and it was it was a hey, it's a showman. Oh, it's, I wasn't doing it for showman. I was doing I was doing it because I flick 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 flick. I back some back some back some so. I was doing it to warm up because yeah. if you warm up in a warm dressing room, you cold it you when you go out. You, you're not used yeah, to it. Yeah. I got you. you. You know that's it's and it's it's nice and warm in in the in the middle of in the middle of winter. You go out and think, oh bloody hell! And you got to go and warm up again. You know, yeah. but when you've gone out, you're used to it. Yeah. You know, you you're used to it. So I I I, I started doing it, and Terry Venables, who was a revolutionary in football, after after two weeks of me going out and playing well. And starting well, he said, he called a meeting, he said, uh, on Saturday, boys, you know, we're going to go out. 
you know, and we're going to warm up like like Budger does. Well, there was a, there's what 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 <laughs> you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna warm warm up at two thirty, and then we're gonna come in after fifteen twenty minutes. Put your kit on, we'll go back out and we'll play. Yeah, you know. Well, it was hell on. You know, the, uh, the, I was thinking, brilliant, I can have balls on, I can have balls now, you know, on the field, you know, and, you know, that's Terry Venables. Yeah. That's the, the revolutionary in football. That's why I loved it at Crystal Palace. That's why I loved it, because of, of that, you know, of that yeah. head, you know, and there was another one, we, we, I, 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 I didn't think it like this, you know, I, we were playing Ipswich, you know, and they were just won the championship the year before. Oh, yeah. That would be the time Alan Brazil up front, is it? Uh, time? Yeah, Brazil, yeah, uh, Marina, Gates, uh, yeah. Russell Osmond, uh, Terry Butcher, Mick Mills, you know, big, big oh, yeah. team. Big, Bobby Robson. Bobby Robson, In, uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. So I, uh, uh, the, you know, Terry said, keep a clean sheet, Budgie. If you get a clean sheet, we get a draw, it's okay. Halfway down the half, you know, bang, one nil up. Just before half time, bang, two nil up. Now we're playing the champions who come in yeah, half time. Yeah. Brilliant. Budgie, get a clean sheet. One of your clean sheets, we, we, we roam and dry. Bang, three nil up. And just before half time, just before full time, you know, bang. 4 nil, you know, I said, just cop it, how long? He says, oh, bloody hell, there's about two minutes left. He's, and, you know, I says, that's it. Now, I've, I've had about 20 games for Palace now. And, yeah. you know, people are calling me crazy for the summer souls. So, you know, being a good gymnast, I jumped up and I sat, I sat on the crossbar. And, you know, you know the crossbar up on the top, but yeah. there's the post. I sat yeah. on the crossbar, I jumped up. Four nil up, and I'm screaming to the crowd, you know. I'm, I'm <laughs> can you can imagine it? Yeah, goalkeeper sat in the crossbar, four nil up, <laughs> like a schoolboy. It was a schoolboy, yeah. you know. And I, 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 the referee never said anything, you know. I, I, I uh, and <laughs> end, of, end of game, four nil. Well, I'm coming off, and Terry Butcher's pushed me, piss taking bastard. Marina's got me around the neck. You know, they're all at me. There was a big, big scuffle, piss taking bus. Well, I wasn't taking a piss. I was just enjoying myself. That's what people to go to football for, to bloody be entertained. You yeah. know? And I, to be honest, I would have thought that you were, you were thinking about saving your area as well. Because, uh, you know, it was Marsh's back then, John. It was, so but I didn't, but we were going to win. There was one minute left, two minutes left. Yeah, and I just yeah. jumped on. If we were going to win, it's 4 0, you know, and I've, I've jumped down and I'm going to the tunnel. I've shook Paul Cooper's hand and, you know, fucking piss taking bastard. All of them, <laughs> you know, there was, you know, the, but this is Terry Venables again, you know. I've got into the dressing room, everybody's, you know, quiet because of the scuffles and then Budgie, sit down, he says, sit down to everybody. Budgie, stand up. I thought, here we go, I've done something wrong. I didn't realise that. Yeah. You know, he says, uh, Budgie, if we get 4 nil up again and you don't do that, don't do that, I'm going to find you week's wages because that's the best thing I've ever seen in football in Brilliant. my life. Brilliant. And I've, I've, you're like, yes, you know. <laughs> that, I, I was like that. I was, you know, because I... I wasn't drinking. I was in bed every night very early. I was eating right. I was the first one on the training ground, last one off it, two days in the gym. You know, I was ready to play. Yeah. You know, I, I was, I was, we were 55,000 people in Sellers Park every week and we were winning every week. And I was getting clean sheets every week. Yeah. You know, so, you know, when, when, when uh, people expected it, and it's not, people call me crazy. But the, you don't play, you don't, you're not crazy if you're playing at 43 years old in the Premier League, Adam. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I have heard, I have heard John, I have heard a, a little story. Now, I don't know if it's true, 
but it, or it may have been a myth. But I've always, I've been hearing this for many many years about you. Did you ever go to bed with a football? Yeah. Let me go. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to do the bloody interview. Just a minute. It, it, this is this is not crazy, Adam. Right. This is not crazy. This is not crazy. Yeah, I just keep them handy just in case I've got to make a save. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I just keep them. I just keep them handy by my side at all times. Is wait, wait, wait. There. <laughs> Full spot. Where are we at? There. I'm there. Just in case I've got to make a save. That's dedication. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. That's not, pe people think that's oh, crazy. He, he takes his gloves downstairs and he watches television with his gloves on. You know? And, and it, it, he has a ball beside him all the time. Is that daft or is he just flipping dedication? Is it yeah. love of the game? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I, 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 can, I can get it now. I I, I get it now. I do get it now. I, I, especially as a, a, especially with you, the mindset of when you're growing up in a in a minus, you know, you had nothing, and the dedication yeah. uh, as a, when it went downhill at, at Blackpool for for yeah. a short period in time. I, yeah. I get it now. I absolutely you, get it. You know where I'm coming from now. Yeah, don't you? I do. You, I do you, yeah. you know where I, I am. You I know, do. I'm not daft. No, you know, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not that. It's, it's dedication. It's love of the game. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's, I, I, it's, I honestly get it. I you play against me, Adam. If you play against me, see these idiots here that are playing now, I'd batter them. Because right. I well, knew we're... it was stronger. It was, it was, was they, was, you know, people, you know, I never see anybody jumping, you know, like we are for all Andy Gray. You know, I had to flip and bully them. I had to, I had to, if anybody jumped into me, I'd stick my knees in their throat. I'd stick yeah. me, you know, elbows in the throat. Nowadays, bloody hell, the ball goes, the ball goes across the field. It goes backwards. People don't want to watch that. I know. They want the, they I want know. the ball going forward. Yeah. No, you, you no, I absolutely. Coming, agree. coming back to this, coming back to this, I'm not daft. I'm not people. People, oh, it's crazy. It's a crazy. It's a nutter. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm passionate about football. And when I, when I when I am critical about it on 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 you know Facebook and 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 Instagram, it's the truth. Yes. It's yeah. the truth. I, I I get it, John. I really, really no, get it. You know, I see I see bloody kids now. You know, they, they, they got a little. You know, like the one that last week when uh, my, 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 the, the Manchester United lad, you know, just threw his hand back. He only tried to knock his hand off and he, he just clipped him on the head and the bloody goal disallowed. Where is the game going to, Adam? Where well, is he going to? Another, another thing, another thing, John. Uh, and and it, everything seems to be a, a, a fault of a goal. You know, everything's a foul on a goalkeeper. You can't even jump with a goalkeeper anymore now. Unbelievable. Uh, so they put so protected, and it's I'm I'm losing. I'm losing my enjoyment interest. of the game. I, yeah. Interest, interest. Yeah. And it's not just it's not just the goalkeepers. It isn't just the goal, it's everybody. You yeah. can't you can't put a bloody good tackle in now. I know. You know that's what people go to see. They I don't used want to love to... a sliding tackle and a tackle. Yeah. a tackle from oh. behind. Okay, but. Yeah, you know, they were, as long as you won the ball, John. That's fine. it. That's yeah. it. That's it. Now, th that's when f people have got addicted. People have got addicted to football because of the 70s, 80s and 90s. Great yeah. players. You know, yeah. after, after Ronaldo and Messi, now we're which are 34, 35 years old now, right? Who is there? Who is there? Yeah. There is, there is nobody out there's, you know, when you had Ronald Dinews and Maradonas and Flipping Pellies and, you know, you, you had George Best. You had, you had every team had two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, yep. now the, the, there's, there's no superstars in the bloody world. You know, they I get mean, it. The, the style I, of football. I, I, here's another one that gets me, what? gets me good. Out of the goalkeeper, put it down on the, on the, on the, as a goal kick. And he plays it five yards to a bloody centre half, and you know, and they're gonna get closed down. 
Yeah. Is that yeah. the stupidest tactic in the world or what? Yeah, and you are, I, I always back you up when you mention this on social media because yeah. I am uh, that that one of, a few weeks ago where um I think it was Zaka, you know, um the Arsenal played Burnley, wasn't it? And, yes. Uh, and you know, they messed up on a Burnley goal. And I thought I to myself fell over. Whatever whatever happened to just get clear in your lines? Whatever happened? If, if, listen, when I was at Crystal Palace, we used to play out the back. But yeah. I would get the bloody ball. I remember Kenny Sanson, you know, um, coming at left back. He was only a 17. I didn't know he was going to be in international in days. And he said, you know, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah. I says, Kevin, Kenny, I'm not giving you when it's flipping. You know, he's, if, he's, if he's 30 yards away, I'll give you it. No yeah. problem. But I'm not giving it when it's flipping 10 yards away like you are now. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. And, no, definitely. Uh, uh, how many times, how many times and um, um, have you seen, Adam, a, a goalkeeper being knocked, you know, knocked to the uh, centre halves and they've gone up the other end and scored in the other end by keeping possession? I've never seen it. No, I know. But I've, I know. But I've, see, I've seen so many going in your goal that the goalkeepers have played it short, you know, being closed down, and it happens every week. Yeah, yeah. It yeah went, no, it went, it, if it's Guardiola, I'm sorry, that's not the bloody way to play football. Yeah. You know, if you keep a clean sheet, if you keep a clean uh, the people are going to say, who's him to question Guardiola? I'm telling you, I would never have that. I don't mind them playing it short if they if they're backed off and you can and you can get your head up and you can pass it. I like playing out the back, yeah. but don't bloody take risks. I know, I know. Uh, going back to your career, John. Uh, yeah. Crystal Palace. After Crystal Palace, you went to QPR. Now, yeah. I, I I remember listening to uh, an interview or a chat you had with Kevin Campbell, and it was the yeah. reason why you left Crystal Palace then. Uh, That's regarding, you had a, a, a debate, let's just say, uh, with uh, Terry Vanderpush. Yeah, Terry bought me. Terry left Crystal Palace, you know, because they went down and he bought me. You know, yeah. I was his first buy. And um, when I went there to Loftus Road, it, was, it wasn't the best place I've ever played on. It was crap. You know, the Loftus Road pitch was one of the worst. Was it you the know? plastic pitch then, John? No, no, no. It was grass then. It was okay. grass, right? But the following year, after one year of playing on grass, you know, and I'd signed a three-year contract, the, 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 the put this AstroTurf down. Right. You know, um, it, it was, it was some, Terry didn't like the, he liked it to play football. But I, I, being a goalkeeper, I just bloody hated it. And it was, it was rock hard. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like Preston, or it wasn't like Oldham's, which had sponge underneath, rubber underneath. It was bloody rock hard, you know. So I, I, I tried to train on it, but you know, the, my my way of training is has to be hundred percent every day. But you can't train hundred percent on astroturf every day. Yeah. It bloody kills you. Me, me, me knees were sc yeah. scraped. My thighs were scraped. You know, it, it, coming down, I was getting bloody injured. Uh, you know, it, 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 there's a, there's a, there's, yeah, I'm sure that if you keep playing an AstroTurf all your life, it, it, it shortens your career. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I, 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 I remember those days. I, I, especially QPR, it was only concrete underneath, you know. And, uh, you know, we played some good football on it, you know, because training on it was... You know, every day was big advantage. You know, yeah. that's why QPR, Oldham, you know, uh, Preston all went up to the first division. Yeah, you know, and, even Luton, and Luton. And, and Luton, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a massive, you know, to play on it, you know, to train on it every day because the other teams would come and they'd all have new boots, you know, they'd all have new AstroTurf boots to, to play. And then you feel get hard to it. You know, your feet, your yeah. feet get hard to it after after playing on it for a month or two. You know, and you know you know what to put, what, not what to do. When other teams used to come down and train the night before, they used to have blisters and you know the, all kinds of bloody stuff. You know, the, the you. muscles were aching because they weren't used to it. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But so I, I I said to Terry, you know, 
I said, Teddy, I'm not enjoying myself. It wasn't the fallout with Teddy. Teddy was fantastic. It was just, I said, I can't play on the AstroTurf. You know, now we were playing so well and we were going to go up into the, you know, into the first division, into the Premier League. And they didn't want any um, bad publicity about this AstroTurf, right? Okay. You know, I said, Teddy, I'm, I can't play on that. I'm not enjoying myself. It's not football to me. Then I said, Budgie, we're going to go up. In the, you know, we, we're beating everybody on it. I said, I know. I said, I'm earning a lot of money on bonuses. I said, but Terry, I don't like playing on this. So, as, as, you know, to stop me, you know, going to the papers to, you know, to stop me, you know, uh, he let me go. He let me go to uh, to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, yeah. Which you know was in a second division, which was no threat to them really, you yeah. know. And and um, I, I I I was thankful for Terry. There was no argument. I love Terry Venables. I, I, I you know because yeah. you were with uh, you were with Palace and QPR with him. I, I was expecting you to. Uh, I was expecting Barcelona to come up uh, in eighty oh, six. I, I was as well at that time. At that time, you know. But they had Victor Valdez. You know, yeah. coming through. You know, which yeah. he, he was a super super keeper. But you know, I I I I left for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, I am. You know, when I went to Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace was the same thing. Short of money, you didn't yeah. have any money. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm the kind of goalkeeper. I, I've got this reputation, Adam. You know, dead budgie in the second division, and he'll get you up. He'll get you up. Yeah. Yeah. Ibs, Ibs were the same. Ibn were the same. Right, we shall come on to it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Big, big, big money troubles. You know, we've got no money. And I usually sign for a small wage. Yeah. You know, I'm, when I do it, I usually say, that's when you pay me. And that's when yeah. the trouble starts. Because, you know, I went I went to Wolverhampton Wanderers. And you just come down out of the, uh, out of the first division. And uh, they, they were all the players were, you know, all going away, you know, what, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and in comes Budgie, you know, personality in the dressing room, training your bollocks off, showing the young lads, you know, Bobby Coy, John Pender, uh, Young Humphries, you know, uh, 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 John Humphries at right back. You know, the, all the young kids that just come through the academy. You know, going to start in the second division. <coughs> well, I, I have a, I have a defensive system that I was showed by Terry Venables. Okay. You know, um, um, George Graham took it to Arsenal. You know, when the, you, when the, you couldn't score against Arsenal. You know, it was always uh, you know somebody nil. Arsenal won. They won every game one nil, one nil, and it was Terry Venables is. V, v system, you know, I have, to, I have to, I have to, it's sending them down the middle, pushing yeah. them into certain areas, you know, yeah. and then break, breaking from there. Well, I went to Wolves and, you know, I they just took Graham Hawkins on as manager. It was his first year. And I, I on training field, I was, you know, uh, Jeff Palmer and John Humphreys, you know, and, and, uh, and Peter Daniel. And uh, and uh, I can't remember who the left wing wing was. Push them down the middle. Push them down, and we will rob them on the halfway line. One, two, three, three passes and a shotted goal. You know, I got you. Yeah, yeah. On the break. So I I went to Wolverhampton. You know, uh, the Graham wasn't Graham wasn't too happy with this with this formation. But you know, first game one nil, one nil, one nil. We kept winning. So you know, we kept on, and I, I kept on stacking the, the one nils up, you know, and, and they couldn't say it. Everybody was happy. And we, we went up that year. Yeah. We, we went we went up that year. Okay. And, uh, and uh, there's another little funny little story, again, about entertainment. We got up, we, we beat Charlton one nil. you know, last game of the, you know, second last game of the season. We were going to play Newcastle. The last game of the season, right? Right. And uh, I was on my way down to the game, you know, on Saturday, Saturday morning, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock kickoff. And I, I called in at these uh, fancy dress 
store, right? Okay. And I got a, I, I, I walked in and I paid 20 quid. I said, I want to buy that Superman suit. Because, you know, <laughs> I knew I was going to get player of the year that year. Okay, right? yeah, yeah. And, and I was going to take it in the Superman suit, you know, to give the, give the crowd. It was, there, there was 60,000 in Molyneux. Yeah. 60,000. Like, you know, the Keegan and Gazza and Waddler, you know, playing for Newcastle. You know, you know so I, uh, you know, I stopped and I paid 20 quid for it. And, you know, we were all, because the, the result didn't count. Yeah, it, yeah. It gave, you know, it was, the result didn't count. We wanted to win, but, you know, if we had lost, we were still in the first division anyway. We were not, it wasn't going to, right? So I, I started putting it on and the manager was pissing himself, you know, uh, before we, we went out for the warm-up. And uh, you, you, all the lads were, <laughs> you're not going to warm up in that, you're not going to warm up in that but just I am, I am. You know, so I've, won, I've, won, I've run out, mulling you, 50,000, and they're all flipping, pissing themselves. Oh, I now bet. That's, uh, that's entertainment, isn't it? Yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that's entertainment. You know, the pressure's off. It's, it's just a day out. You know, yeah. saying, you know, the, 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 the people have come in to say, oh, yes, we're in the first division. You know, so yeah. I've, I've done my warm up, and Keegan come down. And he's come, he says, fucking hell, buddy, that's brilliant. You know, he says, I'll give you a hundred pounds if you play in it. You know, <laughs> I said, you're, you're on, Kevin. So I went up to the, I went up to the referee's office, you know, and I said, uh, Keegan's bought me a hundred pounds. You know, that I won't play in it. You know, he says, well, you, 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 if you wear the yellow stockings and you wear the black shorts, you take the cape off and you put a number one on, you can play in it. <laughs> so I put a piece of tape, I put a piece of tape on my back, on the blue, you know, the blue yeah, tunic. Yeah. yeah, I took the tape off, I couldn't play in the tape. I put black shorts on and I put yellow stockings on. <laughs> and it, it was a nil-nil draw. It was a nil-nil draw. Kevin was brilliant, but brilliant. Uh, you know, and I, I, I took my player of the year, uh, in it, the, the in my Superman uniform, you'll see pictures on it on on yeah. internet. Okay. But that's what I've always, you know, it's not being loopy loo. You can't you can't do these things if you don't win, Adam. Yeah. Oh, exactly, exactly, exactly. You, you're an I, idiot if you do these things, like like Muhammad, 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 Muhammad Ali. Yeah. I am the greatest. Right? I nobody will beat me. But nobody did beat him. Do you understand? You can yeah, you can definitely. do you're a fool if you're saying these things and, and you, you don't follow it up. You can't and you follow don't it follow it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well I, I had done it. it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't I'm I'm Mr. Serious Adam. You look at me now, I'm nearly seventy and I look flipping forty five. <laughs> It's because hey. of my diet, no drink. Yeah, yeah, you look 25 when you were doing that dance the other day, but I tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's because of my lifestyle. I'm in bed yeah. early. You know, I, I stick to me, my vegetables and my chicken and my, and my um, you know, I'm, uh, I'll drink maybe four cans of beer a month. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, now, every now and again, I'll cook, and it does me good. You know, if I'm, yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, you know, but I'll have one can of beer. And I'll sleep well, and it gives me energy for next day. I'm, I never get pissed. Yeah, I never. No, pissed. no, no, no. You were teetotal. Do it, do it. You are doing. You play most. You play. But, but I was play, yeah, but I, I, I love my can of beer. You know, for for giving me energy. Because if your beer gives you energy, you know, yeah. Ron Saunders, he used to make us have a pint of Guinness every every Friday night in the hotel. You know, I got you. I got, okay. Not only one, you know, and I got that from him. You know, I, I, I'll just have a can of uh, San Miguel, you know, yeah. a can of beer, and one, one, you know, I sat in the house watching Coronation Street, and then I'll go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not, uh, 
it's, it's not a piss out. It's, it's not like yeah. going out discotheque and then coming home at, you know, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. No, no it's, it's for me health. It's, it's good for your beer. Yeah. So that, so that was that was my whole situation. Everything seems to happen. Like a crystal palace, I go in, I do it for them, and then it's my turn to to get a contract. You know, to get a, um, to, to take a, you know, to take a, a bigger salary for your rewards, what you've done for them. But it, yeah. like when I went in at Wolves, there wasn't there wasn't a, a, there wasn't any reward. You playing right, on the same because them are the days. You know, them are the days when, you know, if your contract ended, right, you 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 could still put a massive fee on it. The yeah, bossman yeah, rule right. wasn't. That's right. I remember. The bossman, the bossman rule wasn't in then. You know, the bossman had, had not challenged it. You, you know, and players they were slaves. Yeah. You know, they, they didn't have to give you a. They didn't have to give you a a, a rise. You know, in your salary for g gaining promotion, having fifty thousand uh, crowds every week. You know, you you in them days. You know, they could put you. Two million. They could ask two million for you. Nobody would buy it. Yeah. And yeah. they had you. They had. They had you on contract. People can't. Younger generation can't understand that. I know. Why does? You know. If now you can walk out for nothing. You know. Yeah. You can. You know. You can. Messi. End of his, end of this season. He can walk out for nothing. You know because. I know. But in but in in them days. In in the in the late seventies, early eighties, before Bosman and the Premier League came in, you know, you you they you were a slave. Yeah. Or yeah. Bosman is definitely a pioneer. The amount of pioneer. Players, yeah, the amount of players who 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 owe him oh. something is incredible. The, the 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 players that are million 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 billionaires today, I've got yeah. to thank Mr. Bosman. Yeah, definitely. You know? Absolutely. Uh, after, after the Wolves, after Wolves, uh, John Sheffield United. Yeah, Sheffield um, United. What? Um, because I remember Sheffield United in, in like late eighties, they're struggling like Division O, Division Two, Division Three. Yeah, it? yeah. The, again, again. Um, I went to Sheffield United. Uh, Ian Porterfield, God bless him. I was just going to mention Ian Porterfield. Was, was Sheffield United the first time you, you bumped into Ian Porterfield? He, he rang me up. You know, I was I was on loan. You know, to Derby County at okay. the time from Wolverhampton Wanderers. You know, because I wouldn't play. I was doing the Bossman rule before him. You know, <laughs> but uh, I, I told him I didn't want to play. You know, if you want to lose six 0 I'm not, I'm not interested in playing for Wolves. So they loan they loan me out to the Derby. It was in the third division. Okay. Right, and uh, I, I, I went. I, I I had two tremendous months there, and then I, I was playing fantastically well. We we're top of the league uh, in the third division, and Arthur Cox was manager then, and um, he said. Uh, I wanted to sign, and I didn't realize, it, you know, I, I, it, I didn't realize that, um, you know, how much money they had. They had Maxwell behind them. Ah, yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 Robert yeah. Robert Maxwell. I, I didn't, yeah, Robert Maxwell, and you know, I didn't realize how much, how much it was. This is. I wanted to go to a, a second division where I could make the leap again to the first division. Yeah. You know, and that, Arthur Cox, you know, Ian Porterfield rang me up. I was about, I, I was just about to play my last game for uh, for Derby County, and I told Arthur, "This is it, you know. Um, I'm going to Sheffield United on on Monday morning, I'm, uh, to Bramall Lane. I was living in Wolverhampton then, okay. and and, and um, I uh, I was on my way. You have to go through Derby to get to Sheffield, right? right? From yeah. Wolverhampton, you have to go through Derby Ring Road." And then up the M M1 to Sheffield, and and um, I, I I got a phone call from Arthur Cox. He says, "Buddy, what time are you meet in Ian Porterfield on Monday?" I says, "12 o'clock." He said, uh, "He said, come and see me in the training ground." Well, believe it or not, the road you have to pass the training ground. 
You know, okay. you, had to, you, had, you had to pass at the Derby County training ground. So I, I, I started off early, nine o'clock. I was very excited going to see Sheffield United. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I popped in. I seen the lads saying bye bye to all the lads. And, and you know, they, would, they didn't want me to go, blah, blah. And Arthur Cox said, come, in, come into my office. So I've come in and said, do you want a cup of tea? I said, yeah, I'll have a cup of tea. It's only 10 o'clock. You know, yeah. I'm not meeting. It's only, it's like 45 minutes from Sheffield to Derby. And um, I, I, I sat in the office. Now, he's got his key out of his pocket when I've sat down and had my tea. And he's locked the door. <laughs> right? And I, I'm, I'm looking a bit suspiciously. Like, I, didn't want, I says, what's, what's going on, boss? He says, you're not bloody getting out of this office till you sign for Derby County. I said, boss, I've got to see you in Porterfield at, at 12 o'clock. I've been nice to you. You know, come on. He's, he's sat back on his desk. Budgie, Budgie, I can buy Shelton if I want. I can buy anybody who I want. I've got Mr. Maxwell. You know, you're my first choice. Take it. I believe me. Oh, I'm buying Shelton. And... Oh, sorry. You know, I'm thinking, you're in the third division. Yeah, you're going to go up. You know, after, after time and, you know, repeating himself so many bloody times, right? <laughs> yeah. Two hours have gone by. I'm late. No mobile phones. No. No boat in Porterfield didn't know where the hell I was. Right? And uh, Arthur Cox, you know, he, uh, I've got I've got 15 minutes to get to Sheffield. It's 45 minutes, you know. So Arthur Cox he says, "Would you like another cup of tea, John?" I said, "Yeah, yeah." Uh, so he's opened the door and he's locked it from the outside. Well, I've jumped up, I've opened the window, I've jumped out the bloody window. <laughs> you know, I've, I've got into my car. And, Arthur, you know, I turned it round and I'm coming down the training ground and Arthur's, you know, is, is, is there in front of us. And I, I didn't stop, I just kept going. He's jumped out the way, you know, he's jumped out. <laughs> now you've got to turn left at the training ground. You've got to turn left, go up to the island and come back to go to Sheffield. Well, I've gone up the island, it's only 200 metres. I've done up and turned round, I'm coming back. And Arthur's there in the middle of the dual bloody carriageway. <laughs> He's throwing bloody cups at me. He's trying to fucking put my window out, you know. <laughs> well, I've, I've swerved him and I've, I've got by. And uh, I've got to Sheffield and I'm sorry, and, and I told him the story. He says, oh, Arthur's a bit crazy. So I got my deal done, you know, at Sheffield United. And I yeah. went back and just had to give, I, give uh, the, Arthur the, the uh, respect. You know, I says, I, you know, I rang him up at home and says, boss, yeah, he says, you're coming back tomorrow, son, aren't you? You're coming back tomorrow. I said, no, I've signed for Sheffield with a three-year contract with Sheffield United. You know, and phone went down. Didn't speak to me ever again. Jeez. You know, unbelievable, isn't it? And, and, he, did, and he did sign uh, Peter Shilton, man, because I remember went, Peter it, Shilton. Two weeks later, he bought Peter Shilton. Jeez. Two weeks later. He bought Peter Shilton, you know, and, and I, I went to Sheffield United and I, I had a great time at Sheffield United. I enjoyed it at Sheffield United, but I didn't get promotion, you know, uh, and two, halfway through my contract, you know, Chris Nicola, who was my centre half at, yeah. um, at, uh, at, at Aston Villa, he, right. uh, he rang me up and said, Budgie, we need you. We need you to Southampton, you know. And I thought it's a long way, boss. Yeah, but yeah. the money the money was ridiculous. I had to go, you know. I had I had I had to go because they were offering me fortunes. So I went down. It was it was you know um, immediate immediate from Sheffield United, which I, I wasn't in the first division. I was in the first division at Southampton. But I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. And then, you know, after two, 
two or three great years at, at Southampton, Newcastle. You know. Yeah. Now this is uh, this is where I this is where my interest in football really started to take off. Really, when you're yeah. at Newcastle, right? Because yeah, because. If I'm uh, Kevin Keegan was in charge or, or or put in charge, and that's where Newcastle really started to. Uh, I, I was coaching up. there. That wasn't yeah. my. Uh, that, no, Jimmy Smith was in charge. Okay. Right. Jim Smith was in charge when I when I went there, and you know he, he says come up and see me. So I drove all the way to, um, I drove all the way from Southampton to Newcastle, and. Uh, Jim Smith was brilliant, gave me an awful lot of money, you know, awful lot of, you know, uh, so I, I, I had a fantastic uh, time there and I didn't want to leave. I, yeah. di I didn't want to leave Southampton. Uh, I didn't want to leave Newcastle. But uh, we just missed out. I saved a penalty in the last seconds, you know, against Sunderland at Roker Park and, and they beat us 2-0 oh. in, uh, in, in the replay at St. James's. That stopped us going up to the first division, and oh, it was it was awful. So I they bet sacked, it was. They, they sacked Jim yeah. Smith, which I, I like Jim. Me and Jim got on brilliantly together, and you know, I, the, there was a story when I was at Southampton. You know, early doors. Yeah. That you, you, when, on the corner kick, you know when the the the. the Somebody comes and stands on you on corner kicks yeah. and blocks and blocks your own. You know, I, uh, I, you know, I, I had a, a little trick, you know, for uh, with it. The spectators knew everything; they used to look for it all the time. Yeah, my, my two back studs in my boots, right? I, right. I'd, I'd file them down the like arrowheads, oh. <laughs> right? And then, as soon as he start, I used to look at the referee. I used to look at the linesman, see if anybody was looking, and I ram it right on his metatarsal, on his foot, on the top of his foot. A bang! I used to break a lot of feet. You know, I used to put a lot of players out. You know, well, I, I did this. We, we were, we, I was playing at Southampton early on, and we were playing uh, Spurs. Yeah. Top notch there. Winning 1 0. And I said to the referee, with a get a corner. You know, and I said to him, How long, ref? How long? It's just two minutes. And I'm shouting to the lads, Get this away, lads. Get this away. We've won it. We've won it. You know, Ozzy Ardiles came and stood on me, you know, trying to block me off. So I looked at the referee. I looked at him. Bang! Straight down into his messy task. Well, he was crying. Ah! Ah! <laughs> screaming. You know, we've won one nil, and I'm, I'm up the, the crowd. <laughs> you know, and if you, you know the Dell, you know, yeah. you have to yeah, go yeah, in the, in the, the corner. It's a, you come off in the corner, and there's about five or six little steps up to the dressing room. Well, as I'm coming up, I could hear this little Argentinian's voice. Animal, animal, you animal, you animal. I says, yeah, I'm animal. We've just beaten you in the bloody Falklands and we've beaten you here. Piss off. <laughs> you know, so, you know, it's, it's pap, pap. So we get to these little steps. Now I'm just coming in, lasting as per usual. And Terry Venables, who was in charge of Tottenham then, yeah. he's got Aussie, he's got Aussie. He's, he's got Aussie, you know, don't, don't, don't. I said, tell, tell him, Terry. I let him. If he touches me, I'm gonna eat him. You know. So I've gone up and he's tried to push me, and I've just got him. I've rammed him down the stairs. You know. <laughs> so I've I've got I've, I'm along to the I've gone along to the dressing room. You know, I was reported. You know, by uh, you know to Chris Nickel. Chris didn't give a toss. You know, it didn't. Yeah. It, it, it won his one match. It won the match. You know, I said, what did you do? But he said, he's going to hit me. So I throw him downstairs, you know. And uh, he says, okay, fair enough. You know, so um, I said, yeah. He, he, he said, did you give him, he gave him a little trick? I says, yeah. You know, in the corner. Glenn Cockrell, Glenn Cockrell says, budgie, fucking stood in his foot. He broke his foot. You know, I says, yeah. But he's not going to try and block me off. You know, <laughs> I, I, I was like that. You know, so 
So what happened when I was at Newcastle? You know, when we didn't go up after that season, when I stopped the penalty in the last seconds at Roker Park, and uh, and we didn't get up, the beat us in the replay. Yeah. Uh, the sad game. And uh, we, I went away me all the days. You know, we, I came back. And uh, pre-season training, first day back of pre-season training, they didn't, they didn't announce the manager at Newcastle. Okay. And... and um, we were all in the dressing room and the chairman coming in, the first day of training. He says, Good, uh, have a great season, boys. He says, we've chosen the manager, you know, for the new season. He's outside, he wants to meet you now, you know. Um, and, you know, we think he'll be a huge success at Newcastle United. They opened the door, new manager, Osvaldo Ardiles. Oh, yes, I remember him at Newcastle, now you see that. <laughs> yeah, Osvaldo Ardiles. Well, he's walking along the lads. We've all stood up and he's shaking it. I've, I've put my hand out for him to shake and he just walks straight by me. Right? I just walk, walk straight by me. So what happened? Uh, the next, next day, uh, I, I had a message, you know, on the telephone, you know, uh, Telephone went. Secretary wanted to see you, right? Yeah. And I went into this. He says, "Was the elder dealers? He doesn't want you at the training ground." I said, "There's only three days gone. Um, he doesn't want you at the training ground. He doesn't want you, uh, you know, to you know, to come to the field." He says, "You've got a year left on your contract, and we will pay you up. He doesn't want you anywhere near." You. You know, Please. you've got a free transfer. Go anywhere you want. Well, so, yeah, that's that's nice. That's a, yeah. that's a man. You know, so I, I I've got home, and I'm thinking, what do we do now? You know, I'm 39. Yeah. You know, what do we do now? And uh, within three four days. Uh, Phone, phone went off. It says it's Alex Miller, Ibernian. Um, uh, we would like you to, you know, join here. We've just sold Andy Gordon for a million pounds to Glasgow. To Rangers, Rangers. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, well, it was easy for me to get on the train at Durham and be in Edinburgh in an hour and a half. Yeah. Which, I, which uh, easy parking, you know, free parking there, and I, and. Uh, I, I, I took the train up, I, I went to, the, you know, to Easter Road, I met Alex, you know, he said, uh, come for a month, come for a month uh, loan, see how, see how, because you are 39. Yeah. I said, okay, all right, you know, so I went for a month loan, I didn't know any of the lads, I didn't know Scottish football, you know, I didn't know anything. I didn't know any any ground the first time I'd been on Easter Road. And uh, that was Thursday. Yeah. You know, first game on Saturday was desperate, you know, against St. Mirren. Right? First yeah. day, St. Mirren. And uh, we went to the hotel for our pre match meal. And then we were having a talk. And uh, Alex Miller was a, a, a defeatist. He was a defeatist, you know. Okay. It was a, a negativity, you yeah. know. So what what happened was we were in the in the uh, they just they nearly had gone down Ibernia. The, the if you can remember the track the track they were they finished in the bottom two, and they wanted to make the the only one went down because they were yeah. trying to make more people in the, in the yeah, in, yeah 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 I remember that Scottish I remember Premier League days, yeah. Yeah, and and um, the, I could tell why they nearly went down because the team talk, you know, we were playing St Mirren. I didn't know, I never bloody heard of St Mirren before, you know. <laughs> and, you know, he's budgy, this midfield player, be careful of him. He'll, he can shoot from 30 yards. You know, this striker, he's flipping good. I said, boss, I'm just, I stand, this is my first game, this is, first, this is not my second meeting. You know, apart from two days training, I said, "Boss, stop fucking frightening us." You know, 
I says, he's, their manager's telling him they've got a goalkeeper who's played 800 games in the bloody Premier League. <laughs> Don't shoot. He'll come and get crosses. Bloody hell. I says, boss, you've got a good team here. You know, we'll, we'll win. We went yeah. out money three one. The lads, the lads were like clapping, you know. Yeah. So yeah. the foot, you know, we, we went to Dunfermline on 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 the Tuesday night. We beat them. We beat them, and you know, we and I and with my with my um, defensive, what I told you about in Wolverhampton, I, I took yeah. it to every club I went. Alex didn't like it. You know, he used to show people on the outside, show them away from goal, show them away from goal. Well, right. Beckham, you know, you couldn't show Beckham away from goal because he'd get it, he'd whip it in behind you, like De Bruyne does now. Yeah. And I said, I can't get that ball. If you push Beckham inside onto his left foot, he was shit. You know, I put, push him inside. You yeah. know, so I, I, I was keeping the, the, the. Many managers told me. Many managers told me you're not the best goalkeeper I've ever seen, but you're the best organizer. You know, you've got a big mouth. You know, you've got a big mouth. And well, I, I, I was pushing him in, and in, in my first month, he got three clean sheets. And Alex was still, was still uh, insisting that they go on the outside, but I was on the training ground, and I was on the field, and I was screaming, and I would in their face if they didn't do it. But yeah. it was working. So but, uh, well, to be honest, John, you met, you mentioned about goalkeepers with big mouths. That's yeah. part of the problem. That's part of the problem these days. And some of the they're goalkeepers, you, you, you don't hear anything from them. It, the, the, the the snowflakes, the, the nice yeah. boys, guys that we would love to marry your daughter. You know, <laughs> you, you, you're a son-in-law material, as I call them. But let me finish yeah. story. Yeah, I've yeah. Got through, I've got me through this month. You know, the following month, you know, they signed me on, you know, to the end of the season. We got to the League Cup final, you know, and I, right. I, I, I wasn't getting on too well with the manager, like I never did. You know, I, I was a bit too strong for him, right, if you okay. want. You know, my way was, you know, keep a clean sheet. And I, it, 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 never, it never bothered me too much, you know. So what... I, because I was getting clean sheets, you know, I had, he had to do it my way. Yeah, it yeah. It would be totally different if he didn't. And we got, we got to the, uh, we got to the, sem the, the semi-final of the League Cup, Amden Park, full house, hundred thousand people, and and uh, we were playing Glasgow Rangers, and uh, they had Aitley, they had McCoy, they had Ouster, yeah, right. Gorham, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, they were buying every flipping best player in all over the world. They were you know, they had... many, many because of um, because of the uh, the high school band. Many yeah. of the English players then went, went up north to Rangers to get some yes. football. And yes, that's true. And what what happened was, you know, uh, it started again. Miller started again in the hotel. You know, oh, you've got to watch it, or you've got to watch my cut, my blah blah. blah. And uh, you know, I'm looking at him and says, Boss, shut up, you know, and <laughs> shut up, you know. And he didn't like that, you know. And then uh, it affected our lads, it, it, it affected our boys, yeah. you know. And I'm in the tunnel, you know, now there's 100,000 people out there waiting for us, you know. and. I've got, I've got to do something because I could see the lads were frightened. They were, they were shitting themselves, right? Yeah. They were sorry, shitting sorry. themselves. You're moving. I am I am little. Sorry, John. Uh, I've, I, I've, been, yeah. I've been trying to... I've been trying to uh, I told him I would do Block this. It. I'm in a coffee shop. And uh, the music okay. just keeps on getting louder, so I do apologize. Yes. No worry. Now, uh, I was in the tunnel, so I had to, I had to do some of it. I had to flip and do something, and I, uh, I, I started picking on the, the you know, Italy started, let's finish these bastards off by half time in the tunnel. You know, you know, there's plenty of talk going on in the yeah. tunnel. And I just, I lost, I lost my temper. Yeah, and I was like, you, Italy, see you, you come in my box, I'll break your fucking back. You know, and you, McCoy, 
you were shite at Sunderland when I was at Newcastle. I used to come and watch you, and you were shite. You had to come up here to make yourself. And, and the lads, you know, they were, oh, oh, you know, shut up, budgie, put And, you know, I kept on fucking, come on. And the, 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 it riled the lads up. We, we won it one nil, and I had a fra- fantastic game. You know, yeah. we went on to win. We went on to win the uh, the final against Dunfermline. You know, two nil. You know, so yeah. I I had won. I had, you know, in my first season I'd won the league cup, and you know the the, the Hibs you know, they were in a terrible mess. Wallace Mercer were trying to pull them out of business. And, well, uh, I mean, I've I've been going on to uh, you know I've done a little bit of homework, uh, uh, John. I hope you didn't mind, but. Uh, many Hibs fans, even uh, as you mentioned, you joined them at 30, uh, 39. But yeah. even, to, even nowadays, many Hibs fans uh, would say that you were best keeper of it. Uh, you know, yeah. though Andy Gorham went, to, went on to Rangers and had a great career himself. <laughs> you know, say Andy, Andy Gorham couldn't lace my gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't lace my gloves on. <laughs> you know, I, I, it's but same with Callum right. Pete. Uh, but the, 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 it's all the same, you know. Every club you go to, they, you know, like Crystal Palace or uh, you know Nigel Martin, the De, De, De guitar, whatever they call him. He couldn't lace my bloody gloves on. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's okay going into an established club. You know, when you, I, I always go into clubs with big, big problems. You know, yeah. like Ibs, and I, I take them by the scruff of the neck, and I make them good. Yeah, and then I'm looking for, and then Alex Miller. That's end of that season. We had a magnificent finish fourth in the league. You know, Budgie had a flipping Ibs clean sheet record, right? Yeah. And, you know, you know the the reason the reason why I didn't I went in for my new contract. My contract was ended. He came and said, "Same money as last year, just like that," because he didn't like me. You know, I said, "Boss." It's costing me that much to come up on the bloody train every day for my season ticket. Ah, right, okay. You know, and, and he says, I, I says, pay for the season ticket, I'll play for the same wages. He said, no. I says, get yourself another goalie. Piss off. You know, that is, the, that is why I left Ibernian. I buy him. I buy you know, him. that's it. And then, and then it was, I, I, I got home. I had a week at home doing nothing, you know. I walked out on on uh, the Ibs went down again, you know, like yeah. all Crystal Palace went down. They all go down when Budgie leaves them, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Serious, I'm not joking. I'm, yeah, no, I'm joking. No, the, 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 Everybody the just the it. there. it's there, you know. And because of that personality in the dressing room, there's leaders in football in in dressing rooms. Yeah. You know that what that they don't, they don't let people off. You you can't be you've got to be a personality in it. And when you're in a dressing room, it's be a leader. It's leadership. Yeah. When you go yeah, to the field, there's some especially for younger players, they rely on you. You know the experienced players to lead them out. But I've always been a leader ever since it was me bringing up. Yeah. You know, it was me bringing up. So after after a week. You know, after a week, I got a, I got a, I got a phone call from Kevin Keegan. Okay. And he said, uh, Budgie, um, you're, you're, you know, you're 40, 40, 41 was then. And he said, uh, we, we, would, we want you to be the goalkeeper coach at uh, Newcastle United. I said, I still want to play, Kevin. Yeah. You know, he says, you're 41, Budgie. I said, I don't <laughs> care. And, and I said, I really don't care. You know, so what, 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 a, I went down and I started with the goalkeepers and, you know, Kevin's training was, you know, uh, four, seven asides. And I had to play, there was three goalkeepers I was training, Stephen Harper, Pavel Sanchez, and Big Cooper. And I was, you know, at, at the yeah, end of my that. training, the, my, my training session, we had, you know, you were picked to go into a team and play across the field for, you know, four, four, seven sides, seven, 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 seven. And the winner played that team and the yeah. loser played that team. And you had to play five out of you, you lost. Well, I was first pick, you know, 
Oh, that's was, okay. I, people don't realise that Kevin just didn't sign me as a goalkeeper coach. He signed me as a player coach. You know, so at, at 41, yeah. I must have been on the bench 10 or 11 times for Newcastle. You know, as sub. You know, okay. I never played. You know, but I used to, I used to go away and play. Um, I used to go away and play uh, for uh, Darlington or Scarborough or you know, one day yeah, yeah. I got, a, I got, a, you know, Kevin says uh, Manchester City want you to be on the bench to Tony Corton, you know, and, and it was in September. I signed, I signed a contract in September, and I, I trained with Newcastle every day, and I went down to his Manchester or I went down to London or wherever they were playing, and I sat on the bench, you know, yeah. for, uh, and the, that was the year. That Newcastle United nearly won the title. Right, I got and, you. I got you. Yeah, when yeah, uh, Philip, yeah. Philip Albert and everyone like that were playing. Philip, David Ginola, Real Fox, Sheer, yeah. Les Ferdinand, Bracewell, Robert Lee. And oh, I, 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 bet I, I bet I was a good change to do. Um, oh, I, I, my, I used to change with the players. You know, I never used to change with the coaches, even though I was yeah. a coach. I never I changed with it because I was going to play with them. I played with them every day. And that, that was a day that I signed for Manchester City in September. And I sat yeah. on the bench. And that was, that, that's the, the year that Newcastle United, that's the year of Kevin's run. If they yeah. re-win on Saturday, I will love it. I will, <laughs> can you remember it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was uh, Middlesbrough, wasn't it? With uh, Alex Ferguson and that. I, I, can't, I can't remember who it was. But, you know, they were fighting for the league, yeah. you know, and there was like 10 games left and we were playing, we were playing them at Main Road, Manchester City. And I, I, I went to him on Tuesday and I says, Kevin, do you know we play on Saturday? He said, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, do you want me to ask him to put young Martin Margison uh, on the bench? He says, no, it's you know, don't be soft. Brian Orton with his friend. Right, you yeah. know them, and um, I says, "All right." I went again on Thursday, and you know, build up to the game now. You know, I says, "I sure, Kevin." He says, "Bloody hell, Budgie, do we have to ask again? You can sit on the bench on Saturday." <laughs> I says, "Can I have a ride down tomorrow in the bus?" Says, Get on the bus, yeah. So I got on the bus with the lads. You know, they yeah. went to Mottram Hall. I went to the Copthorne. Where the the hotel I always stayed in, yeah, near the stadium, and um, I, 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 at one o'clock, at past one, I was stood there waiting for them outside their dressing room. And they all came down. Hiya, bud. Are you playing today? I said, No, on the bench. Yeah, I, I hope you get a game. I hope you get a game. I said, Yeah, I, I do as well. You know, so if they've gone in, I'm having a cup of tea with the Newcastle lads. You know, <laughs> we're playing them. <laughs> but I've seen them every day. The I, I only seen the the Manchester City boys one time a week. Yeah, you know. So uh, I got changed, and I said to Tony Corton, "Tony, you can come off at Old Trafford. You can come off at Ivory. You can come off at anywhere, but don't come off today." All right, he was laughing. So <laughs> we went out just before half time. Tony's my knees gone. My knees gone, Budgie. And I, th I thought. I know he's a piss-taking bastard, but he wouldn't have done it in the middle of a game. <laughs> you know, not in the middle of a game. And, you know, he's come up and the stretcher had to carry him off. You know, and I looked at his knee, it was up here. Brian Norton says, you're on, Budgie, against Newcastle. The team that I flipping trained with every day. You know? And this is the, the time I made... Uh, I made the, I made the um, record for playing... You know, 43 years old. Yeah, yeah. Tony Corton came off, he says, you're on. So I had to be introduced to the crowd, uh, you know, and I went on. Tony Corton's off, John Burridge is on. David Ginola's come inside. It a bone in a top corner, I've banged it out. Rule Fox is one-on-one. -on -one. I've stopped him. Big Les has got an header in, a gone bank save. Nil-nil draw. <laughs> nil-nil draw. And, you know, and um, you, you're coming off and the lads are, fucking hell, Budgie, that was a brilliant display. 
I said, I can't eat a straw, lads. You know, I couldn't eat a yeah. straw. Yeah. And then we went upstairs, you know, to the press room, and Kevin was there. And I know what Kevin's like. Kevin's, Kevin's is okay to the to the cameras, but yeah. when when it, when when it's when it's is 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 nasty, you know. Okay. And I've run okay. away, and he says, "Come here, sit down." We, and he put his hand on my shoulder. He says, "We all know Budgie what he what he's like." You know, he would never let us go, you know. So, they, they, we did, they didn't win the league that year. Kevin left, you know, Arthur Cox rang me up. All the staff left. All the staff. I got you. You know, left. Yeah. Because we had to because Kevin, you know, Kevin left. So, that was it, you know. That was, it. That was the end of me Newcastle uh, story. And then I came to Oman. 25 years ago now. Jeez. Now I've got, I've got a low battery now, Adam. Yeah, yeah, I got, I, I, but gee, I do apologise. We've had a disco in the background. We've had a dog in the background. This has been amazing. No problem. This has no been problem. amazing. But gee, thank no you problem. ever, ever so much. Much appreciated. Anytime, Anytime um, Adam. Please keep in, in contact because uh, your, your social media posts really keep me going. Uh, and oh, we'll, have a, we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll have a real good talk about modern day goalkeepers and modern day techniques and you know the way many that we are. Yeah, much we'll appreciated. Very, very Ta grateful. Thank bye, you very Adam. much, Buddy. Take care. Bye bye bye.